Hi, this is Trey Passer. I'm going to give you my live reaction to three trailers that I <coughs> found out about that were on, I didn't know that were on YouTube. Um, Maleficent, this, uh, the second trailer, and there's another trailer for 300, and then there's Rise of an Empire, and then there's a trailer for um, Batman and Robin based on the, uh, the comic book. There's going to be a DC animated movie on that, so I'm going to do Maleficent first, and then I'll do 300, Rise of an Empire, the second trailer for that one, and the than the DC animated movie of Batman and Robin. This is uh, based on the comic book. Well, okay, so let me, uh, I think I have Maleficent here, so let me see if I can pull it up and I'll give you my re live reaction to it. Uh, ch -ch -ch yep, there's high definition, mega trailer. Uh, let's see, it's high definition, so let's click this and hold on, let me see if I can make it big. If not the commercial before. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's see, make it full screen and turn up the volume on this. Okay, that trailer was more like a little bit just more expanded of the first trailer actually. He started with the animation from Sleeping Beauty and then it turns into live action, which is pretty cool. I like the effect of that. And you know, it shows the fairies and everything. It shows the prince restoring the kiss of Sleeping Beauty in the cartoon form, and they show it in the anim I mean the animated form, then they show it in the real life form, and then they show you what they show you the coda not the coda fanning, it's an Ellie fanning, I think that's her name. You know, saying the same things you said before. I know you've been following me. You know, come out and also I forgot. There's another part in the beginning where, every, you know, the fairies are giving gifts to the king on the birth of Sleeping Beauty, and then you see Maleficent comes. And she says she'd like to bestow a gift as well. Okay, and then you see her fly away, and then you have all these great shots of her using her powers and stuff, and you see more of Angelina and Jolie in the light. I guess not in, in as dark as much, but they're still not showing you her backstory, which I guess. Maybe they're saving it for the last trailer, or maybe they're going to save that for the movie. But it looks it looks really good. Like so, so how using her powers and it shows uh, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Maleficent, who who actually tells her that there's evil in the world, evil I can't protect you from, which is interesting coming from her, <laughs> of course. But it looks good. It looks they did a, they did a real good job, and I got a feeling this movie's going to make a lot of money. It just it looks like the perfect, you know, like Angelina Jolie is perfect for this part. And the, you know, the Disney machine behind it, it looks like it's going to be good. So, thumbs up on the second trailer for that. Uh, let's see, uh, 300 Rise of an Empire. This would be another trailer for this. So, let me look if I can find that. Okay, Rise of an Empire. Let's see. Not one month ago, I gotta find the one that came out. Uh, hold on, not seven months ago. Rise of an Empire. Where's the second trailer? 
I think I know where to find it. <laughs> I'm going to superherohype.com and hopefully I'll have to go, go through the commercial to find it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and I also have the trailer for the DC animated film Son of Batman debuts. But I mean, wait, let me watch the trailer for the, the new trailer for 300 Rise of an Empire. Okay, let me click on that. Now let's see if we have to go through uh, another. Uh, Another uh, uh, commercial. Okay, it's loading. Okay, but anyway, what it says is basically uh, uh, directed by Noam Murrah, the film stars Sullivan Staple, Eva Green, Lena Headley, Hans Matheson, David Wenham, Roderick Santorio, uh, Igor Nara, Colin Mulvey, Jack O'Connell, and uh, Phil Skins, and Andrew Timon. Based on the Frank Miller graphic novel. Xerxes and told in breathtaking visual style of the Blockbuster 300. This new chapter of the epic saga takes the action to a fresh battlefield on the sea as Greek General Democles Sullivan Staplin attempts to unite all of Greece by leading the charge that will change the course of the war. The Under Rise of Empire pits Democles against the massive invading Persian armies, forces led by mortal Chandra Xerxes, Roderick Santur, and Artemisia, Eva Green, eventual commander of the Persian Navy. Okay, so let's kick this. Let's see if we get a commercial if it starts. No, oh, there it goes. trailer basically is the same <laughs> a little different things a little bit more variations of the other two trailers that they showed just more war you know Lena Headley talking about she's given everything you know even a king and she's you know she's talking to um, Sullivan Staples character which is uh, what's the theme the 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 mocus as I guess Sullivan Staple and it looks like her him and uh, Artemis, uh, played by Eva Green, have a kind of a history because you see them battling, and she's, there's at one point where she says he's just a man, and he, they show a shot of them kissing, it looks like. So I guess they have history, and basically more shots of them fighting on the water and stuff, and more shots of Xerxes, you know, lording all, all of his empire, saying, you know, war, 
screen war, and something more. But looks, yeah, okay. But like I said, I wish they would have maybe got maybe a bigger actor to be a uh, Snemokas, you know, more guy with a more, I guess, more screen presence. I guess maybe, you know, I mean, Sullivan said we might do a good job. We gotta watch the movie. I know it's not fair to prejudge him, but I think it, it should have gotten, um, you know, a bigger star, you know, to play this movie. <laughs> You know, to, you know, I guess because it kind of looks like it's kind of downgraded. Like he didn't get Zack Snyder to direct this one, of course, because he's doing other things. You got somebody else to direct it, but maybe they should have got a, a you know, a bigger star to be uh, the lead guy in this movie. But yeah, it still makes sense. I'm gonna give it a watch anyway because I like the original 300, and this looks like the same original style. So let's see. Uh, now I'm gonna watch the, uh, the trailer for um, the DC animated film Son of Batman. Let's see. What that looks like. Uh, well, here we go. TV Guy. This is what it says. Excuse me. This is what it says. TV Guy has debuted the first trailer for Warner Brothers Home Entertainment's next DC animated film, Son of Batman, which you can check out in the player below. Okay, based on a comic book by Grant Morrison and Andy Kerbick, Son of Batman features Jason O'Mara as the voice of Batman Bruce Wayne, Stuart Allen as Damian Wayne, Maureen Baccarin as Tali Agul, Jean Carlos Esposito as Raz Agul. David McCollum as Alfred Pennyworth, Xander Berkeley as Kirk Langstrom, aka the Man Bat, and Thomas Gibson as Deathstroke. Oh, that's a great cast. Uh, this film was expected to hit DVD Blu ray this spring. Check out, okay, and okay, they didn't tell you the official date, but they say sometime in spring. Okay, and Justice League War, by the way, is coming out on the 4th of February. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's see. And you get a special peak of this, uh, special peak of, um, of, uh, of Son of Batman on the uh, Justice League War when it comes out. Okay, so let me play the video. I didn't read the comments, so I don't know uh, history, so let me do this. My father's dead. The assassins plan to take over Rachel's organization. Rachel, I will visit and retire. You may call me. This man wants to kill us. Us? Me and your son. Son? Things have changed. She thinks you'll be better off with me. I'd be fine by myself. They still killed my grandfather. He has to pay. We don't kill. He's gone. To be informed to. Have your mother, Damien. I'll give you 48 hours before I end this suffering. Let vengeance guide your actions. It's easier my way. Right. Your play, Damien. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha. I'll drive. No. I know how. No. Uh -huh. That makes me want to get the comic. That looks cool. Uh, Taya Gould goes to Bruce Wayne and, tell, and tells him that basically that Raza Gould is dead. And, and these people want to take over their organization, the League of Assassins, and turns out to be Deathstroke. Okay, and, and then I think she says that he wants to kill us and our son. And then she throws the curtain back and there's Damien, <laughs> right there, son, of course, that he didn't know he had. Okay, and... And, he, of course, Damien is real headstrong. It looks like he wants to go back and get revenge against, you know, for um, Deathstroke for killing Ra's al Ghul. Of course, and Batman saying, we don't kill, you know, and, and of course, he's not hearing it, and he, he disappears, and, of course, he takes the Robin <laughs> outfit, and here comes Robin, and you see him, uh, uh, Deathstroke sends uh, Damien Wayne a message saying, we got, I got your mother, you have 48 hours, I think, to surrender, and looks like a lot of great action. The animation looks absolutely beautiful. I like the voice work as well in this. This looks actually good. This makes me want to get the comic. If the comic was anything like this movie. Oh my god, that's son of Batman. That's absolutely beautiful. DC, uh, damn, DC, I don't know why DC animated, they do so great, such great movies. I mean, animated movies, but they, I don't know why they can't do live action. They should maybe let the animated people that do that, make them write the script for the live action movies, because they, they just knock it out of the park. It's just Fantastic. Anyway, let me know what you think of the three trailers I've seen, Maleficent, you know, the second trailer, uh, 300, the third trailer, I believe, which is more like more or less a combination of the first two that we saw, and 
Son of the Batman. It looks really, really good. I'm looking forward to getting that. It's coming out this spring sometime. And that looks really, really good. I love the animation and the voice look. And anytime you get Deathstroke and you get Batman and Ra's al Ghul all in the mix, it looks really good. So let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.